My name is Michael Linsky. I'm a professor in the Department of Addiction Studies at the IOP. And basically, I'm going to talk about the MSc that we offer in that department. We are also part of the National Addiction Centre, which has been around for over 30 years. The department itself, though, was only formed in 2010. So the National Addiction Centre, 30 years. Department of Addiction Studies, since 2010. The emphasis of the research in the department is very much on what works. We have close links with National Health Service and um, very much research focuses on prevention and treatment and has a very practical bent to it. We have a number of senior staff, there are SITS professors, but also many other researchers. The total department, including uh, research workers, I think is about 75 staff. I would encourage you to go to the website to find out more about the research that is happening there and also about the people who work in our department. We offer actually two course sets that I'll be speaking about. The Masters in Addiction Science, which is a taught course, so it's on campus and we're based on Denmark Hill. Um, we cover a number of topics, addiction science and theory, research, prevention, treatment and policy. Again, policy, that practical sort of emphasis on what might work because addiction, I think, is such an important issue and is so often in the news, often not for very good reasons. Um, so the MSc itself, it's a one-year course. It's basically September through to September. Um, we have a number of fundamental options in the first part of the year, so this will be starting in um, September 2018, if you were to join the course. There's an Introduction to Addiction Science and Theory module, a Research Methods module, a Psychopharmacology module, all of which occur in that first semester. The second semester includes a policy, so I call it the policy module, which is the first one there, policy prevention and practice, but also a clinical skills um, module, which also includes a placement opportunity with the local NHS Trust. So we have those close links with SLAM, which is the South London and Maudsley NHS Trust, a lot of the uh, lecturers who teach on the clinical courses are clinicians who work in SLAM and um, as part of that particular module you would be doing a one-week placement in one of the SLAM clinics. There is also a research project or a dissertation which takes place over summer um, and is actually worth a third of the overall course. We have two optional modules, one of them is based on clinical practice. The second is related to policy and with a specific emphasis on alcohol. The overall goal of what we do in that department is to promote an understanding of evidence-based practice for addressing problems related basically to addiction. Basically the people who present the lecturers are leading researchers and clinicians. We have a number of field trips and tutorials. There's the clinical placement that I mentioned. Um, in common with all, I think, all the master's courses, we rely on virtual learning um, resources and environment on Keats, which is the KCL version of Moodle. We also, and I want to mention it very briefly, in collaboration with Adelaide University and Virginia Commonwealth University, we offer a distance learning master's course, so this is not on campus as such. It perhaps has more of an international bent, as you'd expect, from a course that is offered across three countries. Um, you can see some similarity in the core modules that are offered on that program and the one that I've been describing. Okay, thanks. Thank you.